And everybody must have a question for a doctor. You're going to be wearing a lot of designer labels in future if you do win. Um, which is your favorite menswear designer label at the moment? Very Shemendram, I'm sure this is a question <laughs> I never asked you in med school. Very surprising, Joanne. I have been asked that in med school. Whoa! <laughs> I hope He's that professor isn't here tonight. <laughs> We'll keep him I'm wearing cadaver for him. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest That's with so you. That's so dead. That's so last season. <laughs> Good one, Joanne. Sorry. <laughs> to be honest with you, I feel very privileged to wear tonight's designers. And uh, to, be, to be completely honest with you, I'd have to go with Fabiani. Oh, Ooh. he's a man with taste. He's got a man, he's a man with that. taste. He also sniffs. There's a possible endorsement opportunity for him. So oh. well done there, Shemendram. <laughs> and he's I'm sure. Away. I don't know where you're sitting. <laughs> <laughs> well done. No, no, we know. We know we like. Now, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I don't know about you, but I was always teased at school and always called Jeannie Bikini. <laughs> Only now has it become cool. <laughs> when I thought about being in swimwear, I just thought about my legs. I was like, whoa, I've got very Indian legs. <laughs> I ended up wearing something that made me look like Poseidon, the king of the sea, I think. It was a blue number with pearls and like shell designs. It was a little more skimpy than I had expected, but I tried to pull it off with confidence. I thought it was such fun that Shemendran was so confident in the bathing costume because, I mean, it's not easy for a guy being in a tiny speedo like that. And he even did the Shemendran dance. Mm. But Eugene, he wouldn't let his father and his sisters be in the audience because he said it would make him too shy. Because his dad would have been like, so we paid for you to go to medical school for seven years, a lot of money, for you to walk around in your undies. You could have just saved us money and told us you like walk around in undies. We could have bought you Spider-Man undies. We could have walk around even Batman. We could have bought you. Shemendran, the fashion show was spectacular. I felt really proud that we put that together and that you all looked so good and you did great. When you looked at it, what is the significance of that tattoo on your back? I like the warrior spirit of the Maori. And the Maori as a tribe basically use the contours of the body as they design their artwork. So I used that philosophy and I designed the tattoo myself. Oh, okay, I see. Because patients, we thought it was someone. It's actually Maori. Yeah, because he comes from the indigenous Maori of Deben. <laughs> <laughs> and I, then I do so that my greatest south. Yeah, no, it makes, makes so much sense now. I'm 116th Maori, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Shemendon, why didn't you want your father and your sisters to be at the show? They told you that? <laughs> Rude. Uh, no, no, that wasn't my father who spoke to you. <laughs> um, my parents and my sisters are my biggest critics, and I love them for that. Would they have judged what you looked like in a speed? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, the mere fact that you were wearing one, or what you looked yeah. like wearing it? Well, um, I don't know. I think it's a bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> but why, why didn't you want your dad to see you? The Maori in him would have yeah. come out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking here. Eh? I'm not actually Maori. <laughs> I'm not even 116. <laughs> we'll use the word Maori for another time. <laughs> yeah. From my side, I just want to say congratulations. I thought your interview you was very strong. Yes! Yes! Sit down! You wasted the good surprise, Jeannie. <laughs> no, I thought you've taken everything that we've told you and you've worked with it. Especially the way you have us laughing now. You really, really have that talent. But, you know, I remember when I first met you, you were telling me the story of what it says about a woman's psychology, what finger she wears her rings on. And you've got this wealth of knowledge that you need to learn how to share that with people in a short period of time. So in a question and in a link. Use that information that you have in your head because you've got so much of it. You really are smart. What I really try to do is last week you guys gave me a lifeline it was really really a shock to me and you gave me a lifeline and I really wanted to grasp it with both hands and that's what I did and you did thank you for that well done thank you very much <laughs> so you won yes <laughs> <laughs> that was a, you see how he's wow. <laughs>